Hi, in this slide I want to address the, uh, the question of, uh, gee Bruce, uh, your six boundary system, interesting uh, metaphor, uh, but uh, you know, I, I use different expressions. I, I think about terms of sticks and carrots and I want to give people vision pull so they get really excited about the vision and they start moving towards it. Uh, I just want to show sort of, it's a translation slide, how do my systems uh, sort of fit or fulfill these alternative ways of, 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 of designing a, a, a high performance culture. Uh, first of all, on vision pull, let me get my little highlighter here. On vision pull, uh, what is something that I can articulate to all my employees that they can get their head around, they can understand it? Okay, I get it. And the second step is, okay, well, I, I can believe that it's possible and I can be part of that solution. So I guess I'm willing to, to, to be moved along. I, you know, it's, 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 it's inducing me. It's, it's, it's like a magnet. I'm, I'm being drawn to it. Um, and I think that if you look at boundaries one and six, in other words, here's, here's the service value, vision, concepts, tactics, and so forth we're going to do to dominate uh, best right customers and best right niches that historically we've been strong at at a given branch. Uh, people say that makes sense. Let, let's whatever we do well, let's do let's do it even better. Let's double our sales and, and quadruple our profits, kind of thing. And then the idea that okay, we're looking at all four of our stakeholders, and we've come up with a expand the pie strategy so that actually all the stakeholders are going to do better and get excited and work together and all want to be on the train, working and being part of the solution on the train. Um, that comes from that that uh, that 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 mission of, of four-way win economics. As far as uh, sticks and carrots uh, on the sticks or fear part, maybe a a nicer term, but I don't want to scare people. But to provide structural discipline. Uh, so there's it's one thing to have hope and renew hope, but then it's like okay, tomorrow I start and beginnings are hard and Jesus is frustrated and I give up. You know, well, how do we keep everybody collectively working together? sort of that collective peer support, but also peer pressure that nudges us along. And that's what comes from uh, boundaries two and three. When there are numbers everywhere and the peers are tied into it, and we're looking at margin dollar per employee and realize, you know, we have 10 people in the warehouse. If we just fired the, the least productive guy and the rest of us shared that person's wages, so we all got a 10% raise tomorrow and margin dollar per warm body goes up, so gain sharing goes up also at the end of the year, that's not a hard decision to make. So the tenth guy either gets in formation with the rest of the honking geese or they drop out in a sense. Um, as far as what are the carrots and greed, really most people frankly aren't money motivated. Oh, they all want more money when it comes to the gets, but when it comes to the gives, the discipline, the inputs to make it happen, they just don't have it. Um, but if we're playing station WIIM all the time in the background, and we're not just addressing gain sharing, but we're, we're addressing all the things that go into Maslow's hierarchy of self-actualization, well, then that's different, and they start to get excited. If we have a, a learn and earn cross-training certification so that we have lots of inherent flexibility in every service process department, remember, if somebody gets sick or goes on vacation, someone else has to hop in and do their job. If they can't do that automatically at full speed without making mistakes, then in a sense, service timeliness and quality is going to suffer. So to have basic service brilliance, you do have to have cross-trained, uh, interchangeable backup capability. It also tends to, it, it, it makes the person more valuable. It makes, it, it increases margin dollar per warm body. It's going to increase uh, economics for all stakeholders. But it also rounds people out and gives them a better understanding of, of what they're going doing. They're not just in a silo fighting with people on either side of them. They're saying, no, it's a process. It's a team. It's an organism. And I'm, I'm part of that. Um, and then another huge factor is when it comes to uh, lots of people who have never been as good as they could have been at something growing up, and they're sort of stuck in what they thought was a dead-end job, which is just a, a lack of imagination on both their part and the management's part. If we constantly are publishing small wins, then they start to have that collective belief, kind of like an AA meeting. People get up and say, you know, I'm an alcoholic, and thanks to my higher power and the team and whatever, I, 
uh, you know, I, I'm, I've been dry for two years, three years, eight years, whatever. And people start looking at this person and think, well, you know what? If they can do it, however they did it, you know, however they define their higher power, whatever, then, you know, you know what? I, I can do it. In other words, if, if ordinary Joes, you know, in this company are going out there and achieving new personal bests or getting a learn and earn merit bump or whatever, well, hey, I, I, I can do that too. So we need that collective, lots of little bets, lots of little experiments, lots of little wins happening as a result of it. We need that feedback to give everybody a sense that there really is progress going on that we wouldn't normally hear about or know is going on. Um, and um, as far as, you know, daily, and this is a key concept, perfect practice. You know, if you want to get better at a kinesthetic sport like golf or tennis or something, you have to practice, but you have to practice the right thing. In other words, whatever the perfect stroke is and how to practice that perfect stroke in the best way, that's what you have to do. I know plenty of people that have spent too many hours practicing really a flawed stroke and practicing it in a flawed way. And as a result of it, they never have, for all their work and effort, they don't have any results. So we'll, we'll look later on into how do we turn mastery from a, an art into a science uh, that helps us really reform all of our individual daily uh, uh, work life uh, success habits that allow us to, to move along with the rest of the team. So uh, there are lots of ways of describing uh, high performance environment elements. Uh, I just wanted to give you a more robust view on my six boundary system. Thank you.